ZBrush is world-renowned for character creation and 3D sculpture, making organic things such as rocks, trees, and even skin. But did you know that ZBrush has an awesome feature called ZModeler that allows you to easily create hard surface models? ZModeler allows you to take primitives or low poly models and make quick adjustments to them, such as bridging, extruding, beveling, and things like that. To access ZModeler, simply find it on your brush panel by pressing B on your keyboard and Z to find all the brushes that start with Z. ZModeler is right here. Go ahead and click it one time and we already have ZModeler enabled. As you hover over your model, you'll notice that things are already looking a little bit different than your usual sculpting. To access all ZModeler functions and features, simply hover over your model and press down the spacebar. Depending on where you're hovering, you will receive a slightly different menu. You can hover over a polygon, edge, or vertice. ZModeler pop-up is composed of four main parts. The actions panel, is where you select what kind of action you'd like to be done to the model. Scaling, moving, inflating, bridge, bevel, crease, delete, and even do nothing. Next, we have target, which tells ZModeler what you want to do the action to. Is it all polygons, all quads, maybe just all triangles? Maybe you want everything that's facing the front island. So it basically gives you the what. The options right here are parameters that let you change how the actions and the target behaves. And keep in mind that not all targets or actions have options. Lastly, we have modifiers. These are operators that alter interaction while doing the operation itself. Not all targets or actions have modifier as well. Let's try a few of these features out. I'm going to start by using QMesh. QMesh allows you to quickly remove blocks of polygons, move pieces of geometry, and extract parts of your mesh to create new islands. Next, I'm going to select the target. Let's keep it at single poly. Let's give it a shot. I'm going to click and drag on a polygon. Check it out. It's automatically extruding the polygon. And if I push it in, it goes inside. If you want, you can kind of keep going. If you click and drag two polygons that are together, You'll notice that they get automatically joined, which is an extremely good feature, because otherwise you'd have to manually delete the extra polygons in the middle. One feature that I personally really like is the polygroup feature. I'm going to select single poly, and I'm going to simply click on the polygons that I want to turn into a new polygroup. I can, for example, change it to be from a single polygon to all polygons and make all of them the new group. Or I can choose flat island, maybe and make everything that's on this flat island become its own polygroup. Now let's go back to QMesh. Instead of a single poly or all polygons, let's do polygroup all and drag. Look at that, the entire polygroup gets extruded. Don't forget that as you use this feature, you do get different results depending on where you click. For example, if I use QMesh and I click on an edge, I'm going to simply add new edge loops following along that loop. Here are some more very common used actions that you can do. We can try inset. This one simply creates a nice inset over your polygon. The bridge option creates a bridge between two polygons. And the bevel option, when hovered over the edge, allows you to select an edge loop and bevel it. Pressing down Alt allows you to do a quick poly selection as in, you get to select as many polygons as you wish and then do the operation on them at all at the same time. When you start to drag out a polygon and you press and hold control, it actually only extracts out the face, like a copy. And if you do the same thing but shift, it just starts expanding the area. Almost like if you were sculpting. ZModeler is only compatible with models that have no subdivision levels. That means that if you do have subdivision levels, like so, Go ahead and freeze subdivision levels before you try using ZModeler. From here, you can do stuff. And then you can unfreeze. Like so. All we've looked at today is just the tip of the iceberg. ZModeler has so many functions and features. It is a full 3D modeling engine. So if you are interested, definitely look more into it. I highly recommend it. It is such a fun, intuitive way to get your hard surface modeling and even some blockouts done.